So you have a small local business or you're an entrepreneur and you are looking to learn how to run ads on Instagram. Well, welcome. My name is Leo and I'm the founder of Traffic Factory for Realtors Club and a, basically a platform that where I go and provide free training to real estate agents and small business owners that want to come and learn more about how to advertise online, how to use social media, okay, to reach more customers. But I also have a digital advertising company, Digital Track, that you can definitely visit at digitaltrack.co and then um, Traffic Factory for Realtors.club, okay? The Digital Track, you can definitely scroll down, schedule a call if you just have questions reference to your advertising online in the Solano in Contra Costa County area. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So how to run ads on Instagram, a simple tutorial for small local businesses in the Solano and Contra Costa County area. Who is this for? This ad, this uh, training today that I'm gonna be covering, is it's a beginner's uh, tutorial, okay? So if you're a new small local business owner, or if you're a small local business owner that is new to social, to Instagram to be more specific, that you are looking to get started advertising online or to be more specific, advertising on Instagram, then this is this training for you. If you are advanced, if you are doing great on Instagram or advertising on other platforms, uh, and you just don't want a, any more uh, sources of leads at this moment or another source of generating more customers at this moment, then I'm gonna save you some time. Just go ahead and continue to do whatever it is that you were doing. Um, other benefit, other people that can benefit from this are realtors, brokers, right? Lawyers, team owners, restaurant owners, dentists, and much more. So stay tuned. All right, what's the purpose of today training, all right? My main purpose is to hopefully get you to understand that if you are a small local business owner that is either just starting or that has been uh, running your business for a while, and you relay, rely ma mainly on one source of traffic, okay? Um, that's basically what I wanna help you understand today, to, to not to put all your eggs in one basket, okay? It is too risky, simple as that. So if you rely just purely on um, referrals, especially here in the Solano County area, such as small towns that we have around us that a lot of people know each other over here very well, all right, if you are just out there in the community, you'll get to know people, okay? Um, so again, with today, my purpose is for you to hopefully get you to understand that if you have been running a business for a while, that you are put, you wanna scale up your business, that not to put your all your eggs in one basket either because you just do a referrals, you just basically rely, rely on, on, on magazines or just radio, how about you mix it up a little bit, right? You have a specific budget, you've been doing advertising for a while, you have a, a, a specific budget, how about you spread out the budget a little bit more to other things, right? Especially if one of the sources is not working well for you or if something is working so great, but then uh, it hit a limit, right? It hit a ceiling and you are ready to take that next step. Either you put more money to continue to provide, improve your existing source of traffic or you can perhaps um at, at a point that that's you know that's so improved that any other small changes you can do is basically gonna make a small ripple effect it's not gonna make uh, nothing at all and so at that point perhaps you want to be uh try another channel of source of traffic that is just gonna basically help you float a lot more of of uh, customers into your store uh, as opposed to just making little tweaks in here that's gonna it's not gonna get that effect that you are looking for basically scaling up your business all right so why instagram instagram helps to people focus on your product and services if you are advertising as you can see here in the example right here you can see the ad image pretty much cover the whole screen right so it's very it helps your customer focus if you are doing enough good job to make them stop and take a moment to look at your ad. Um, another thing you wanna keep in mind is that you can do video advertising on Facebook feeds, on Facebook, on Instagram, my apologies, on Instagram. However, it only supports up to one minute videos long. And even then, I will recommend you to, whatever video you upload for your advertising, to keep it at 59 seconds just to be safe. Because you know the moment you upload it and it's, over 
over by a millisecond, and your ad is not gonna work. It's not gonna run. Uh, it's not gonna. Uh, it's gonna get rejected. So keep it at fifty nine seconds. Uh, you can do uh, video ads. You can do image ads on your feed on Instagram. All right. So let's get started with the Instagram ad setup. All right. You can definitely set up your ads directly from your Instagram application on your phone. However, there are limited options. In my preference. I'd rather go to the Facebook Ads Manager platform or the Business Ads Manager on Facebook just because of all the different uh, options that I have that obviously me running advertising for other businesses, I want to have as many options as possible. Perhaps not for you, right? You're a small business owner that don't have the time to be dealing with all the other options, fancy options, and you just want to do the apps, that's fine. However, you know, keep think about if it's working or not if it's not working then perhaps you want to go and try all the full features available within the business ads manager or the facebook ads manager now again it's preferable that you set up your ads through facebook uh it is preferable that you set up a business instagram profile if you open an instagram profile it's personal convert it to a business profile it's free to do there's so many uh, um so many advantages to it right you can definitely Manage a little bit of the comments uh, from your Facebook business page, helping you make it a central hub for between managing Instagram and Facebook. You cannot do everything. You cannot manage everything, but it takes a little bit of, uh, of you. It also helps you track metrics, right? How many visitors have you had on your Instagram profile? How many people click on your links? Um, that's another benefit of setting up a business Instagram profile. You can actually set up a... A button for people to call. You can set up a button for people to have directions to your locations. You can set up a button for people to uh, send you an email. And obviously, the other step number four over here, reference to Instagram ad setup, uh, I will recommend you to definitely connect your Instagram account to your Facebook business page. And in order to do this, you do need a business Instagram account to connect it to your Facebook business page. All right, so step number one in setting up ads on Instagram, it's that you go and set up your ad campaign, okay? Now think of this as a uh, big bank here in the US, okay? The campaign will be like the headquarter of the big bank, of the big bank. It determines, it controls all of the move of all the, the other divisions that that bank may have, all the segments of the business, uh, all the way down to the branch level, right? The branches are like the forefront store of the bank headquarters. And so that's basically just to draw you a picture about what the campaign is on, on Facebook advertising platforms. In here, you choose the objective, right? Just like in a headquarter chooses goal, perhaps yearly goals or metrics they want to go to be able to help them, your the, to help their investors recover money or get paid. Um, the campaign will help you uh, is where you go and set up the objective. What is it that you want to achieve with this specific campaign? Okay, what's the goal? Uh, in this slide over here, we have some of the objectives that are available. Now, this may change by the time you watch this video, so keep that in mind. Uh, I think this is even different now, but just to review a few, okay? From here, you, your objective is to just boost the post. You can do that from here. Uh, if your objective is to get more likes to your page, you can use something like this. If your objective is to send people to your website or landing page, uh, you can use something like this, send people to a destination. Uh, if your objective is to collect leads, using the leads form built in within Facebook, you can do that. If your objective is to get people to take action to convert into a lead or to purchase something on your website, then you can do something like a conversion, okay? Those are just a few. All right, so the next step is your setting up the or ad set, okay? Um, here is where you can choose the budget. The budget meaning how much you want to pay for your ads, and then the schedule, how long you want to run it for, what hours you want to run it. Also, you determine the audience, who you want to show your ad to, the location where your ad is going to be showing around, etc. As you can see here in the screenshot, we got the audience section. Uh, one of the options you have as a custom audience is, for example, if you have a database, right, meaning 
uh, a lot of real estate agents that build a database. You can take that information, all the phone numbers, names, emails associated with that, with those leads, upload it to Facebook, and you can build a custom audience based on that. Any businesses that that you have, that you have built a database for some some years now, you can take all that information, upload it to Facebook, and Facebook will go ahead and try to match it with Facebook users. And so that if you choose to, to show your ads only to people that were on the list, uh, that's what's going to happen, okay? And it works, and in a way, it's so much better because this, if you are in the list and there have been your customers for year, loyal customers for year, imagine how well they know you by then, that if they see you on Facebook, they're probably more likely they're going to stop, especially if you're doing a picture of yourself or a video of yourself, if you add... A small local business owner that people actually know you know you by face right uh, people on your on your store uh, that had been customers for a while other stuff you can do in here in the audio section is obviously choosing the location the age um, the gender and um, language for example and then we have detailed targeting right what type of interest they have for example people that are interested in minions hey this is just an example okay um, People <coughs> with additional interests, like people that are interested in minions, but also they are interested in Despicable Me, um, and reinforcing the um, that these people, right, people that matches these two uh, interests, they are really into Despicable Me or minions. Now you can do other stuff like uh, targeting people that are homeowners, targeting people that are parents, targeting people that are parents. With a specific age range of kids, right? The teenagers, their toddlers, their um, preschoolers, um, people with a specific income, a specific job title, etc. So many, uh, so so many options that you can go into detail targeting. Now the next step in here with you setting up your ad is choosing the placement within the ad set. Okay, you can choose automatic if you just want to let Facebook. Um, choose the best placement to placement to show your ad. However, because the video over here, we are covering specifically Instagram ads, we're gonna choose edit placement, right? This option over here that is highlighted in red. And then the next thing we're gonna do is to go to Instagram and then obviously choose the feed option, okay? And the next step within this section is obviously choosing our budget and choosing the schedule. For example, you can choose a daily budget as low as $5 per day, or you can choose a lifetime budget, meaning if you just want it to run for a month, the whole year, what's your budget for the year if you know that ad is working so good. Other stuff you can do is obviously let the run ad continuously until you decide to turn it off, or you can set a start and end date. Now, even though you choose this option to set a start and end date, you can still turn it up at any time, okay? There's other options over here you can go through and you can definitely reach out to me if you wanna know more about those other options. Again, this may look different, may change changes all the time. So now we are at step three, how, to, how you set up your ad at this point, okay? Now the ad over here, going back to this analogy of a big bank, right, within the US. You have your headquarters, you have your different segments of the business or different departments, and then you have your branches or local front stores. The ad is where you actually get to create the ad, choosing the image, the videos, uh, writing the text, the headlines, putting up the links where people need to go to or wanted to go, where you wanted to go to uh, when they see your ad. All right here we have that you first go and choose the identity, meaning if you would you choose your business page, and if you manage multiple pages, obviously make sure you choose the right one. Then you get to choose your Instagram account. Now, again, we are talking about Instagram ads specifically, so please don't worry so much. Concentrate on this one right here, what Instagram account you wanna set up, especially if you have multiple connected. If you do not have an Instagram account, you can still choose, um, um, you can still run an ad on Instagram. However, it will what Facebook will do, it will create a, a profile using the same name as your business page. So what that means is that 
it's not a real profile with it within Instagram. So if somebody sees your ad and you do not actually ha have that Instagram profile, it, it is basically like a fake profile. It's not going to go anywhere. But don't worry too much about that. All right, so the next thing is that basically you uh, either choose the photos or videos you want to be running as the ad or multiple images. Uh, you basically build, write up the text, headline, uh, put up a link, etc. Now for the bonus section. Now for all those of you that stuck around, uh, let's go ahead and get started with the bonus section. Just a quick thing real, real quick, okay? So for better performance on your ad when you're doing uh, ads on Instagram is that you choose to crop it uh, with the Instagram option, okay? And then once you choose the Instagram option, choose the square option over here. Now, the reason why is because you want to your image or video to be optimized for Instagram specifically because it would increase your chances to for your ad to perform better as opposed to if you leave the image to its um, uh, original rate, ratio, especially something like uh, a ratio of Facebook, right, which is wider um, which Facebook uses, uh, Instagram uses uh, more of a square, okay, like a four by four, eight by eight type of deal, okay. Now I'm not saying those are the exact ratio, but that's basically what um, uh, what uh, a square ratio is, okay. Now that covers the training for today. If you are a small local business owner in the uh, Solano County area or Contra Costa County area. And you want to know how a local business here in Vacaville, especially to be more specific, a restaurant, is using Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and other uh, ad platforms and features to uh, be able to increase their sales in the two slowest month by 10% compared to last year. Then go ahead and reach out to me, right? Go to the my digital track website, go to the schedule a call section and you will be taken to a page where you're going to be able to schedule a call or just go down to the bottom and go to the contact section. OK, go to the contact section, send me a message, send me an email, send me a phone number, um, reach out to me on one of the social media platforms and I'll be happy to talk to you. All right. Bye. Have a good one.